Um, let's see. So, um, yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Um, hello there, my friends. Hello. How are you, sir? I'm just fine. Hello. Uh, hi, Wita. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, Chef Vishwesh. Yes, ma'am. I know. That's what I was figuring. That's what I was figuring. That was a good thing, right? Yeah. I haven't seen now, him in a long time. Been a while. Oh, yeah. This, are, this, COVID, yeah. This COVID thing has, you know, all this it's weird stuff. Yeah. yeah. This, uh, it. so I'm really excited to have you all on the show. And, and I, I it, it, the, the, it kind of, it sort of was, we got here through some misunderstandings, which I won't get into too much, but I do have a uh, Fishwesh Bot's book, uh, which somehow, anyway, I don't need to get into it, but I just want you to see all the bookmarks in the top of this. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, how, do you, how do you get a library barcode on that already? See, I I'm a, I love the library so much, I'm, and I awesome. hope that nobody takes that it's personally. Good. I'm glad to know that it's in the library already. That's great. Not to be yeah. outdone, I have mine right here too. <laughs> backwards for some reason but i do have it but now, no i mean mick it's the real i'm not just saying this i'm i do love cookbooks i have a great cookbook library but fish west this book it's it's freaking fantastic i God. i have cooked so much out of this book i'm i love well, it i thank fabulous. you I, why I don't make let me ask i want to have sure just, go uh, ahead um Back in the day when I was in college, uh, the WRFL station was at the end, you know, sort of down the steps in the in the student center. Is it still there? Or have you guys it moved is. To bigger and we better? We have offices? absolutely fantastic. No, they're fantastic because they redid the whole student center. Although at the time I asked the student center director, John Herbst, if, if they could please not touch anything in WRFL and just leave it exactly the way they were. Right. He did not follow my advice, which is good. Um, <laughs> and yeah, we are we are there. Um, awesome. So. I want to, let's see, how do we do this? I, I wanted to have, let's see. So for those who may not know, why don't we have, let's see, we did, will you, you would run down a little, a little tip sheet for, for, uh, for Vishwesh for me, for our listeners. Like, who is he? Do you want me to introduce him? Yes. Okay. Well, he is, uh, first he has been, he received the award for best chef in the South from the James Beard Foundation. Uh, I believe that was in 2020, 2019. 2019. Oh my gosh. I've already lost two years, but um, so he's at, astounding at that. He's a, an alum of the university of Kentucky. He and I did overlap slightly, but he's a little younger than I am. He has worked extensively. He is the executive chef of snack bar in um, Oxford, Mississippi. He was also the chef at the city grocery um, and he's helped in developing many of their concepts. Um, they, uh, and, and that group is, what is the name of that, the whole restaurant group, Vishwesh? I'm not sure uh, that there is. City a group. Grocery Restaurant Group. <laughs> City Grocery Restaurant Group. And he is also um, the author of this new book, um, I Am From Here. And we met at the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival. There was one other thing I was going to tell you about him, but it'll, co it'll come up later. We met actually at the um, Southern Foodways Alliance um, has a, a, a big convivium every year in the fall. And many years ago, I went down and made uh, rolled oysters and I met Vishwesh then because he used to help coordinate all the chefs for the presentations and help get, they had this big giant uh, lunch on the lawn. And so he was sort of your point person and we got to know each other and then didn't see each other for several years and saw each other again at the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, which, which again was like several, like six or seven years ago that we Kind of reconnected and um he came to lexington to cook for food chain um and our very first fundraiser there that we ever did and uh yeah he's just a wonderful very he's an extremely um adept one of the best chefs in america and um just it's a privilege to know him and i'm just so excited he's coming to lexington i can't tell you <laughs> i'm really happy about it <laughs> i am too now I'm going to sort of turn it. I guess it's all backwards. I always mess things up. That's part of my job. So now what I want to do is actually have um, Chef Sam Four introduce uh, we to Michael. <laughs> so we're trying to have like a little surprise here. But uh, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. we were Sam's we were a troublemaker. Just surprise. so you guys know, <laughs> we can. I think we should tell the story of the misunderstanding I had in email. 
because I I don't know how it came up, but somehow in this email, I discovered that Wida and Vish were friends. And then somehow the topic of Sam came up, who I met right at the exact same time at a party at Lucy Jones's house. And so I said, what if we include Sam in this? And somebody said, Sam, we love Sam, but she's trouble. And I was hey, like, I wow, that. that's... Yeah. No, Vishwa pretty... said she's a trouble. He said she's a troublemaker, which is a term Ooh, of right. affection, Nick. Normally. I know. <laughs> it is always a term. It's always one for me, too. But for some reason, in the midst of that exchange, I was like, wow, that's pretty candid for somebody that in the media that they don't even know to say that. So, <laughs> but I am really just here to step back and let three <laughs> wonderful. Sam, honestly, in the email exchange, this question I had to say no. We really like Sam. She's a friend of ours. Like he totally thought that Mitch was saying no. Uh, Sam may not appear on the restaurant show. I know. Because I was he like, is a your, your secret I mean, is no, wait, knowing your Vish. Secret, I was like, your secret safe now. with me. As knowing Vish as long as I have now, that's actually not completely out of the realm of possibility. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> Should I should I introduce the the great sure. Michael? <laughs> introduce Wida. Introduce Wida. The queen. And then maybe the I'll just like I will just like <laughs> yeah, wrap right. this all around, and I'll have Vishwesh introduce you. <laughs> okay. yes, yes, have Vishwesh. Wida, yeah. Wida, you know the the queen of Kentucky cuisine, the champion of farm to table in Kentucky, the queen, if you will, of actually putting up with all of the culinary minds in this town. Um. <laughs> I love her. Everyone loves her. She's got. Hey, don't 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 forget. She was, uh, you know, the captain and uh, the champion of the UK debate team. You know, I was when, getting to that. When, you what? To make the people <laughs> happy first. <laughs> the debate <laughs> queen, <laughs> unlike Uncle Vic. <laughs> <laughs> we love Wida. I love Wida. Wida's done so much for me and so much for so many other restaurateurs in the Kentucky, Central Kentucky area, in Kentucky period. Sam. Um, I love but, you too. She's phenomenal. So, yay, Lena. Hi. Surprise. Hi. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> nice home. job. Uh, Vishwesh, would you like to introduce uh, Sam Four? <laughs> yes. Uh, Samantha Four, uh, you know, uh, cook extraordinaire, you know, big. She's a, you know, she's a big uh, media person now. She's, you know, jet setting everywhere and, you know, <laughs> recording TV shows and radio shows and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, Sam, you you and I met what seven years, six years ago? It's almost yeah, about six years ago through the magic right. Twitter. Yeah, we cooked together at this thing uh, we called Brown in the South. Um, you know, and we've been friends since. So she's uh, she's about to, if I if I'm not mistaken, about, you know, is, is there a brick and mortar place coming up that we should get excited about? Oh, breaking news from Vish. Yeah, I think. <laughs> I didn't I think, say anything. I think you might have. Uh, no, it's okay. It's okay. I think <laughs> I think everyone's starting to get to know now. Uh, Lexington, y'all y'all do have something to look forward to next year, right? So. Well, I do think it's and, interesting. And I taught uh, him everything she knows. By the way, you know, she didn't yes, know how to. Cook probably everything you know. Right. Yes. Right. Nice job. Well done. Well done. <laughs> it's where I get all my auntie jokes too. Right. <laughs> so sam is also if i can add to that uh, uh, uh the 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 entrepreneur behind um took took sri lankan bites nice. as well as being a um member of the crew at uh, christopher kimmel's milk street is that still true yeah i'm i'm yep. still the uh, resident troublemaker there i i think i'm the <laughs> only one who walks into the office and, and yells good morning sunshine to christopher uh, to christopher kimball so uh <laughs> I, I like that job I, i'm not gonna lie it, it's kind of fun <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now okay so we've got everybody introduced here <clears throat> and um you all all have these these lexington connections now Wida, you were mentioning a minute ago and i found this to be so fascinating uh vishu and Wida were you were were you at UK at the same time? Uh, we overlapped, I think, by a semester. Uh, she, yeah. Rita was on her way out, and I was I uh, just arrived. Okay. What year and, were you uh, a freshman? Fish? What year? Uh, were you end of 87, 88, 87. I mean, yeah, 88, yeah. 89, 90. And I was a fifth year senior in 1987. <laughs> right. So it would have been yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we, we now, did overlap for sure. And then, and then Sam, as I mentioned, you, you and I just met recently, but um, 
Are you, um, this is, I get to be the, I get to ask the stupid questions. Are, are you, are you from around here or did you I move here? Originally. What's your backstory? I was born in, I was born in Lexington. Uh, I was okay. unfortunately, I guess, raised in North Carolina. Um, <laughs> it, it was good to me. It taught me a lot, but uh, both my husband and I are actually originally from Lexington and met because of UK basketball. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll, so I'll back you up totally there, because of it's it's because of uk volleyball is what it is i recently yes. went to some volleyball you know games. we were really going for the rowing team but they didn't have <laughs> here, so <laughs> I, I think the thing that's that's really neat about um that connection is i i frequently am feel very out of place when i'm in large gatherings like I remember at the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival, Vish was doing a big presentation on the stage and I didn't really know anybody and asked Sam this. She, Sam can be the mayor of any room within five minutes. I'm, mm -hmm. I am a little more socially awkward. So I'm standing around feeling very socially awkward and Vish says, go, you know, go cats or something like that from the stage. And I look up and it's Vish Wesh and he's smiling and waving and it was just a great, <laughs> it was really great. And it's neat to feel like you have these things in common with people when you're out in the big world and you don't really know what the hell you're doing. So yeah, was, I mean, in the, <laughs> in the culinary world, the the college sports and the um, the the basketball connections, especially, are, are few and far between. So when we find them, we latch on. <laughs> now, so let's talk about. I think we can use Vish's book title as a as a as a jumping off point here. Uh, Vish's yeah. cookbook called uh, "I Am." Whoops. Okay. Yeah. Thought so. I'm from here. <laughs> My display is in reverse. So I was like, wait, does that say what I think it does? Um, and if I, if I were just to make a, just a really pat observation, the phrase I'm from here is sort of an interesting kind of, oh, I don't know how to put this. Um, the, the, the context of it, I believe is it, what I took away from it was that here we are. It says stories and recipes from a Southern chef. But we're not necessarily talking about mashed potatoes and fried chicken and greens here, although we could be talking about those too. Sure. And so what I feel like what's so interesting about this collection, this collection of you all is so much of or some of the things that you're sort of best known for are kind of wildly, I hate to use the word exotic, but, you know, they're from all over the world, really. Um, and yet you are from here in Kentucky. and so. They become part of Kentucky too. Is is that right at all? <laughs> yeah, I mean, absolutely. That's the point, right? I mean, that that, I mean, for for me, the point is always, uh, and then you know, Sam Sam will agree with this or or, or disagree, whichever. But I mean, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, normally when when we meet somebody in the room, uh, the you know, the question is, where are you from? And then when I say I'm from Oxford, Mississippi, the follow up question usually is, no, no, where are you really from? Um, you know, and it's like, no, no, I am from Oxford, Mississippi. So that that that's the sort of the you know the initial uh take and then the other thing is uh this place is is more diverse than we give it credit for uh there are there are folks like us uh there are influences that have that have shaped uh you know in, in this case the south but but america or, or or the world that you know food is not stationary it doesn't you know it doesn't belong to any one community or one person uh it it is ever evolving and 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 as as do cultures uh, and traditions. So, you know, the point being, you know, nothing is stagnant. One thing I loved about the book and, and the title is um, it is a very personal story that you're telling, Vish. I mean, you're yeah. talking about your mom and your dad and your aunt and, mm -hmm. you know, your childhood, your young chef career, your mature chef career, living in Oxford, um, you have a shout out to Weisenberger Mill in there for the grits, which really made me feel happy to see. But so it's it's like you are from all of these places and they've right. all built on one another and created a very special kind of cuisine that um, I think is so exciting and sort of revolutionary, but also deeply personal. It's it's biogra it's autobiographical, the book. It is and, in ways it is, yes. Yeah, because you've got, you know, you're you're talking about you have a country captain in there that we're, you know, with the pulled pork, but you talk about the origins of country captain. That's a very old fashioned dish. The okra chapter, for example, you know, you've got your own version of okra and all that's, you know, the okra chat, that's a fried okra dish, but you have all this 
you know, amazing, you know, dry okra, stuffed okra pickle, all kinds of things that are just really incredible. Same for Sam's cuisine. I mean, it's about telling your personal story about your heritage and the place that you're, you know, and being from Kentucky, being from North Carolina, having a mom who's from Sri Lanka and a dad who's from Sri Lanka and, and how that influenced your childhood food. And it's so exciting to taste. And see, Mick actually got to meet my parents too. And so, uh -oh, my so oh, yeah, that's right. That's you, right. You can, you can see how they are very much a product of, you know, various uh, and sundry parts of American life and American culture and, and American cuisine in some ways. You know, my dad has an odd affinity for chicken fingers and, and french fries, even though he's a, you know. Oh, what's not to like about that? I know, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. But, you know, that's what, what people would associate with traditional Sri Lankan cuisine, even though, you know, we have all those things. And that's, I right. think that's one of those things that, that Vish's book really does emphasize is that we, we do have all these commonalities. It's just that we don't see it as such because it looks just a little bit different. But mm -hmm. if you look at it a little bit closer, you can see just how similar everything else is. And, and that's kind of what's happening with cuisine around the world, especially in Sri Lanka. You're seeing new national dishes come to the front just by virtue of, of travel, of, of migration, of trade. You know, it's food is ever, ever changing. It's a universal language, sure, but it's always, always, always going to be changing in, in positive ways. And a lot of that is because of chefs like Fish and, you know, chefs like I've gotten to cook with, with Brown in the South. It, it's people who are really grabbing onto their identity and, and making it a part of their food. And so it's not just Indian food, it, it's Fish's food, you know? Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and I, I want to, before I, um, oh, I have to mention, because you mentioned when you're talking about chicken fingers, um, a fast food chain that may, uh, that will remain nameless so that I don't get any kind of trouble. Uh, several years ago uh, on their marquee, it said, are you ready for real chicken fingers? And I'm like, I, I don't think I am actually. Um, <laughs> are you ready for real chicken fingers? <laughs> you know, those, I will say that. No, I don't think I am. I tried every <laughs> single chicken sandwich in Washington, <laughs> and I okay. decided that you needed another. So <laughs> are you ready for, for more chicken from Kentucky? I think is the question. <laughs> sure. Yes. So I want to, so back to the book here. I, I don't know if I should do this or not, but I want to read the other night I made, this is really going above and beyond the call of duty here, um, except that I love to cook. Um, and so I made this chicken ramen dish from a vicious cookbook. And, and part of what I love about it is of course, we've got a story here. We've got a Lexington story. Yes. Um, can, can I read it? Would you like to read it? Vish? I don't know if you have it. I don't, I don't have the book in front of me. So why don't you? Uh, okay. Can you tell me how to pronounce your friend's name? Stay on. Well, what? Stay, stay on. <laughs> Okay, say on. Thank you. Yeah. Um, so the, sto the story, and a lot, a lot of these recipes come with stories at the beginning, uh, Seon's chicken ramen. <clears throat> my friend Seon, um, my friend Seon grew up in Seoul, South Korea. I met him my sophomore year of college at the University of Kentucky when he sublet a room in my apartment for a semester. For the first two months, um, Seon complained about how nothing in Lexington measured up to Seoul, especially the food. When, in my ignorance, I suggested that we could try to go out to a new sushi place in Georgetown, he almost punched me. He proceeded to educate me on the troubled history of Korean-Japanese relations. As a peace offering, I offered to make us ramen. At that time, my idea of ramen was to follow the directions on a pack of instant noodles and doctor the finished product with some, is it Maggie? Maggie. 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 Maggie, Maggie. hot and sweet sauce. Maggie, hot and sweet sauce, and a dash of Tabasco. You should have seen Seon's face. He told me he would have preferred to eat at the sushi restaurant than touch the abomination I had put in front of him. I told him if he thought he could do better with those cheap packs of noodles, I would drive him the 75 miles to Louisville and treat him to a proper meal at one of the state's only Korean restaurants. The next day, Seon came home with a bag full of groceries and made the best bowl of ramen I, I'd ever had. The following weekend, I drove him to Louisville. Though I've adapted his method, um, into my own recipe over the years, I still think Seon, uh, I still think of Seon when I make ramen. This makes an easy, flavorful, and comforting weeknight dinner for a couple or a small family. I just love all the culture that's in that, you know, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, misunderstandings and glossings over of one culture to another, 
um, of which we could all be a little more, you know, a little more sensitive um, or just, you know, the building of a friendship kind of over over a dish of food. And I feel like all of you all on some level are about that, are about the building of friendships with food. Am I wrong? (laughs) No, you're right. I mean, that's, you know, food is certainly uh, an easy way to bring people together, right? I mean, it's 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 a lot easier to bring people together with with food than it is with uh, you know uh, an offer of a lecture. <laughs> so, uh, food or, tastes or better than politics. something along those lines. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's it's. I mean, food tastes better than politics. Food tastes better than religion discussions. You know, it's it's an easier way to get everyone to shut up and listen is if you stick yeah. something delicious in their face. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think also that food can really make, like what Vish was saying in the in the at the beginning uh, earlier, is food can make people understand the diversity of a, of an area of a region in a way in a way that is very difficult for other mediums to communicate. You can cook Vish's food, you can cook Sam's food, they can cook for you. You can eat, you can read their cookbooks, and you can see the diversity. You know, it comes to life. The whole culture is comes to life and becomes more integrated with with our own personal experiences. And I mean, I think that's what the Brown in the South group of chefs has really done well to accomplish is to show the the compatibility between Southern food and all different kinds of cuisines and how uh, they're all part of a, a melting pot that's super delicious, but also gives rise, makes it visible, makes it shareable with the people around them, which I really appreciate. That's Weta Michael of um, uh, many restaurants. What do you call? What's the what's the umbrella term? Weta, <laughs> the Weta Michael collection of restaurants. We are the Holly Hill <laughs> Restaurant Group. Holly, Holly Hill go. Restaurant Group. Yeah. Now you've got something pretty cool coming up. I want to hold on to it for just a second. Let's take a little break and come back uh, with um, our our chefs, Fish Wesh Bot, um, Weta Michael, and Sam Four are all here. I'm so excited and honestly a little bit hungry at this point. So. Um, I'm gonna. Are you gonna do a walk across the street to Alta Palsa? I'm gonna play a song, go get a chicken finger, and um, I'll be back. So, uh, (laughs) um, this is. Let's see what do we get. What have we got? No, you know what? Um, We're just gonna take care of some business because we've got too much to talk about with you guys for me to get a song in the mix there. So, uh, everybody, stick around for just a second. We'll be back. This is Trivia Thursday. WRFL's programming is made possible in part by County Club Restaurant, located at. 555 Jefferson Street. County Club offers a selection of house smoked meats, pickles, pastries, salads, and sides. More information can be found at countyclubrestaurant.com or by calling 859-367-0263. WRFL thanks County Club Restaurant for supporting College Radio. WRFL's programming is made possible in part by Bourbon and Toulouse. Bourbon and Toulouse offers New Orleans style Cajun and Creole cooking, offering dine in, curbside, and delivery. Bourbon and Toulouse is located at 829 Euclid Avenue and can be reached at 859 335 0300 or at www.ilovecajun.com. WRFL thanks Bourbon and Toulouse for supporting college radio. <laughs> This is Trivial Thursdays on WRFL. Happy to be back with you and uh, with my guests. Um, a um, a kitchen cupboard full of chefs. Sorry, I just came up with that. It just had to happen. I needed something then. Uh, Vishwesh Bot is here, um, as well as Wita Michael and Sam Four. Um, delighted to have you guys. And I just step back and like let you all do the talking. You're old friends uh, in the kitchen and out of the kitchen. And it must be very interesting to and, kind and we're of, old. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it uh it must be interesting to watch one another's careers um you know in their in their in their various sort of um just you know it, i don't know there's just so many <laughs> i mean i get to stand tied. on the shoulder of giants all the time i have no complaints <laughs> <laughs> You look right. at Vish and what he's done in, in Mississippi, and he's a titan in his own right. You got Weta over here, who's just like, she can take on Kentucky in one fell swoop. So I, I get to hang out with them. I have no complaints whatsoever. <laughs> Aww. 
Sam's our shooting he, star. She's she's our rising star. Her, she's yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, I will say, it. Sam, I, I, I got to I got to tease Sam a little bit because uh, over, you know, you've got Tuk Tuk um, uh, or is it Tuk Tuk is really more accurate. Either one works, actually. OK, uh, Tuk Tuk um, Sri Lankan bites. But every time I look at your Facebook page, you're like on the other side of the country or something. Yep. Yeah. Serving them, serving them to people on the other side of the country, which I don't quite yeah. understand. <laughs> well, I mean, it's the thing is, is between you know covid and feeling for a long time i felt like if i i was doing pop ups here i was cannibalizing the restaurants that were surviving in a way and and so when people brought me out to their restaurants to kind of bring something different and i i definitely took the call and it turns out that there's a, a lot of calls for that so um right now i'm actually home for like a month which is yeah a huge luxury right now yeah next next so wednesday, why not just yes yeah, so i why not just go straight back to work because i think right. we're getting around to well, here, i mean right? next wednesday vish was saying yeah next wednesday uh dinner at sam's she, she's cooking for all of us so hopefully <laughs> <laughs> that's the day after just like make is, that extra this is what i learned that's the day after, right? talk. No. <laughs> it, it's yeah. the day after something we does hosting i believe Yes. Yes. I know. About Tuesday, I've been looking am, Tuesday for weeks. I am too. I well, I don't want you to have to work too hard, Sam. You just need to tell me what I need to order what you need to. By the way, um, so I don't want you to sure. feel super stressed. I want you to feel have fun. Uh, I, but you know, no, I always have fun with you guys in the kitchen, though. That's I the thing. You, you know? work so hard. Is the thing. I know, but that's just kind of how. I'll be at the bar. You guys can. I will be drunk with Vish and my mother will be complaining <laughs> about it and that'll be the comedy for the entire hour. All right. <laughs> it's gonna be we but, are uh I'm gonna be I'm actually doing a lot of the cooking for this dinner because I want to. Um because I having really followed both of these special people a long time, I really actually love cooking uh the style of food that we're going to be presenting and so i and sam got me hooked up with the her favorite grocery store in lexington so i am going to be making a trip out there for all the spices that i need and i have you know i've ordered special peanuts for the boiled peanuts so i'm 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 excited um but we are hosting for the spice trip uh oh i'll give you a text and let you know when i'm going i think i'm going to go tomorrow so i'll give you a shout maybe we can meet over there that'd be great actually you could give me advice i would really appreciate it <laughs> so um but vishwesh is coming to lexington it's, it's not just a virtual thing he is actually going to land on december 6th and i'm going to pick him up <laughs> sam's picking him up right. in the airport and we're having a special dinner and book signing at honeywood uh the entire menu is uh from his book plus Sam's item. So the two of them have set the menu um, and you can meet Vish, you can, and it's not a special ticket. The way we like to do it, actually it was, it was Sam who we did it with the first time and I felt like it just worked out great. We had a Tuk Tuk Sri Lankan Bai pop-up at Honeywood, I think two or three years ago. I can't even remember when it was at this point. And she just did a menu takeover, but it's all a la carte and the, the dishes are meant to be shared so that you can really get a full sampling of everything that's in the book. At least some of the, the my favorites. Um, I, I did I did let Vish have final say and final approval, but I, um, so we're gonna have things like a sweet potato, the sweet potato turnovers with black pepper and cardamom. We've got all these different dips and spreads that we're gonna present. One of which is a take on olive nut, which I totally love, which is made with peanuts and peanut butter. Um, we're going to have some, uh, uh, catfish that's been, um, smoked and made into a pate, some catfish that's rubbed with a peanut chutney and then wrapped in Swiss chard or collard greens and braised. Um, so there's about 15 different dishes. All of them are $20 or less and, uh, just come and enjoy yourself and get, you can buy vicious book there. He'll probably sign it for you if you buy him a drink. Um, <laughs> And I don't even have to buy me a drink. I'll sign it. I don't and know about that, Vish. The generosity. Wow. <laughs> you can make reservations at the honeywood.com, honeywoodrestaurant.com at our website. You'll see at the top of the screen, there's a little place where you can make a reservation. Um, yeah. But we're just about sold out. So you need to do that sooner rather than later if you want to come. But the next day, Vish, you're going to be at Joseph Beth. Am I right? On December 7th. Yes. 
Yes. And I, I forget what time, but I'll be at Joseph Bet signing as well. Yeah. So I'm waiting on and some details from. Yes, and the dinner and you'll at be Sam's. at Sam's after that for, for, yeah, for yeah. the dinner that Sam's cooking. I mean, I can cook dinner, dinner on Wednesday. Well, right? I just need to know who's coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mick, Weekda, and I are will be there. Okay. Whoever else you can invite. <laughs> Mom, bot, um, mom, bot, mom bot. Mick, you coming? I along? just want to. I mean, look, I, 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 just, I yeah, asked I am, of course. Restaurant recommendations. You didn't give me any, so Chris is know. working on that, but you know. Yeah. Well, you know, he's a Tennessee well, so, fan. I mean, I don't know what he's working on. <laughs> I just want to so, as, once as you again, know the college the college trends run deep in this crowd. So oh wow right, yeah. works. I know that's what I just wanted to show it off again because uh it's you know I've got work I've got my work cut out for me. Maybe I could I, if I see in a maybe I, actually I just I just need to to figure out what Vish is cooking and then and then I just then I see how it's truly expressed. Um, and then I'm maybe I'll try anything. it and maybe I don't. Oh, you're not. No, okay. I'm, I'm not cooking. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just coming to drink some bourbon and hang out. All right, then. And I, and I want like one of those Garfield t-shirts. How, how does one get that? I, I know a guy. All right. <laughs> He's going to get swagged out, like drinking a old fashioned at the WRFL, you know? Yep. <laughs> we're gonna set him up, we're gonna set him up be wearing a hat yeah he's gonna wear like yes. a, a fedora wrfl t-shirt big tumbler in one hand <laughs> and in the uh, other uh, if uh, th you this this you know this brings back memories back in the day uh the, the man that ran wrfl was jesus um and he, he used to be pretty uh or, or jesus uh, i forget his last name uh but he was uh, he he used to be pretty decked out back in the day. Had he had you know some really lovely shirts and hats that he used to come come in with. Had some swag. It can be an RFL thing a little bit. It can be an RFL thing sometimes. Hey man, who started oh. WRFL? Who started? Do you remember? Well, yeah, we give uh, we like to give credit to our beloved revolutionary sweetheart Kaki Urch. Um, yeah. WRFL was started as a result of a column that she wrote in the Kentucky Colonel about how Lexington needed an alternative radio station. Yep. And the funny thing about that to me is that as a columnist for the Kentucky Colonel, it's not necessarily incumbent upon somebody to like become viscerally involved in a story that they write. And it wasn't Khaki's intent either, but, but she eventually became the kind of champion of the thing. So, mm -hmm. um, so we consider her to be our beloved revolutionary sweetheart, although to keep everybody, uh, you know, to keep every the old the old school people in line, we refer to ourselves as as OGs, original gangsters at WRFL, <laughs> of, of, of which I'm one, too. So um, I love that. So, yeah, um, I, you know, I've got to let you guys go in just a couple of minutes and I can't decide whether just to have you back immediately or never have you back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> obviously, it's the former. And um, this happens a lot, you know. <laughs> you, you add me right? to the mix, and then it's just like, Phew. so. I know it's it's, it's it's yeah. Sam, as soon as you and I met, I was like, it's only a matter of time before you're on my radio show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what do we uh what do we gotta? Let's see. I guess that's that's about it. I gotta go in a second, and I hate that, but I want to visit yeah. with um even farther across the country, uh, Sammy Beam, um, who lives in Los Angeles. Um, I'm gonna visit with him some. But um, I'm so it tickles me enormously to put the three of you all together here for just a little chat. Uh, do you have anything left that you want to uh, say to one another compliments or insults? And it's just lovely to see you guys. Nice to get a view of WRFL again. You know, it, it brings back some I, I spend uh, I, I was part of the, uh, the student association and, and uh, so spend a lot of time in that building. Uh, so it's, it's kind of nice to nice to at least see it again uh if you're not if you're not careful i'll drag you down there to see it because the station is quite the thing to see i would love to okay yeah. we may we'll try to do that i suspect right. that you're in high oh, demand while if you're you here. and also if you see see frank x uh then please Locker. give him my love absolutely i will and also there's love coming your way from uh the host of kentucky's only live cooking on the radio show jonathan piercy who told oh, me yeah. to say hi to you all too hey, all right <laughs> <laughs> he's a good friend of mine so um he's an awesome guy a ukulele player indeed that's how we know each other for better or for worse <laughs> <laughs> um well kent um i just want to thank you all um yeah. vishwesh bot um from coming to us from oxford mississippi i believe 
uh, Wida, Michael, are, are you in, are you in Midway right now, Wida, or? Yep, this is my little house. I'm in my cabin. That's right. Yeah. And then Sam for, uh, from an undisclosed location. That's her house. I'm in Lexington. <laughs> I'm in my house. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here, here, she's cool in our house, but which, which house is the question? <laughs> the only one. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not at Vicious House. I'm not at Wida's house. <laughs> So I think I'll be okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you all. Th thank you all so much. Thank you all. Um, Bye. we'll see you next this, Tuesday. You Tuesday. You yeah, will. It's true. It. It's true. You will. And hey, um, this Sam, is when, you, when you pick me up, make sure the radio is tuned to WRFL, all right? You know. <laughs> right. Man, so many demands. It's all right. We're going to take a little break. <laughs> Thanks so much to our oh, guests. Yes. Um, Sam for Avish Weshbot and uh, Wida Michael. Um, we're going to take a super quick break here and come back with um, Sammy Beam um, from Los Angeles, actually. And obviously, the next thing that I'm going to do here is play some of Sammy Beam's music. So uh, Sammy Beam's a, a, a magnificent um, um, p pianist, piano player. I don't know. I'm never sure what to do, what to call that. So we'll talk about it, though. But 